Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, with another amazing member feature. Today we're talking to Marta Spurk, and we get to find out a little bit more about all of the great things that she's doing in the world and some of the major accomplishments that she's achieved so far. All right, Marta, I'm really excited to talk to you because I'm just getting to know you myself. So tell, the, um, tell our viewers a little bit about who you are and what your impact is in the world. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to be a part of the Women of Denver and I love the work that you do. Super grateful for everything. So um, I'm originally from Brazil. So that's one number one thing about me. Um, I was born and raised down there. I moved to the United States when I got married in 2010. But I have a long history of loving the English language. That's like my career has been with languages. I've been a teacher, I've been an interpreter and a translator since I was 14 is when I actually started. So it's been pretty much my entire life with this. Um, and then I had triplets in 2016. So that was a huge turning point in life <laughs> in many ways. I was living in Brazil at the time when I had the kids and then we moved back. And that was when I started dedicating more time to personal development and started coaching. And at first it was focused on moms because that was what I was going through at that time, postpartum, um, helping moms uh, with their self-esteem, with, you know, really getting into personal development and working on themselves because that's what I felt I needed being a stay at home mom, a first time mom to three babies away from my family because um, my husband's family lives out of state as well. So it was a time for me to really tune in to myself. And that's where the coaching started. And now I work with women in general. I've realized lots of women that are not moms really resonate with the work that I do. And I believe personal development is for everybody anyways. So my focus has been helping women in making personal development a priority in their life so they can advance in their professional uh, life life, in their personal life, and then in all areas of their lives. So tell us about one of your most recent accomplishments, or a couple, however many you'd like to share, um, that you're excited about. Yes, so my most recent one, which was actually last week, and you have a huge part in this, actually, uh, was that I had, I hosted my very first live event, and it was an inspiration that I got from the first Women of Denver Summit that I attended, and realizing about like the free resources of booking a room in the space that you had, everything just yeah. came together so easily, but the inspiration really came from going to your event and seeing, you know, how amazing it is to get together with other women. And because I work with women only, everything just came together and it was so easy to find the speakers and to bring people in and, and it went amazing. I was surprised at how easy it was to put everything together, even though it was a little bit of work, but it was just uh, so fulfilling and so rewarding. Everyone left feeling transformed and I am looking forward to putting together more live events because I really believe in the, importance and the energy of in-person things because I've had the kids with me at home uh, for three years until they started school it was hard for me to get out of the house and so I've been working online with my coaching for the most part but 2019 and now 2020 my focus is getting out there getting in person making connections and that's why I'm so excited about being a part of Women of Denver too. Nice. Yeah, I really, I mean, clearly I started an in-person group, but I really believe in the power of in-person because it's like we can feel each other more deeply. We have the ability to see, like you can see the facial expressions more, all those just little things. I feel like there's just a deeper connection. I mean, at the very least, you know, making sure that um, you have some touch points here and there with other human beings. I mean, it just, it's combats loneliness. It helps us feel more of a connection to the people that we do know. And it brings us out into, I just feel like people that I've met in person have been more of a big piece in my life um, than those that I kind of just network with online and maybe we post on each other's Facebook here and there. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, what have you, or who have you met when it comes to women of Denver that has been impactful in your life? Well, besides you, obviously, <laughs> um, a couple people that I actually met, a couple ladies that I met at the last Women of Denver have been people that I've been connecting with ever since, which was um, Amy Collette, um, that she is a author, um, coach, or 
writing coach, right? And yeah. it's been really fun to connect with her. That's one of my projects uh, for the dear future is starting to write my book. And I know she's going to be an invaluable resource in that sense. And another person too, that I've actually had the pleasure of interviewing from my podcast and who was a part of my event was Melanie DeRose from Impact Bars. I just oh. absolutely loved um, everything that she said at the Women of Denver. And I was like, I have to connect with her on a deeper level. And it's been amazing. So I am Again, I'm very grateful for the summit and for Women of Denver for that. Awesome. I'm so glad that it was part so such a big part of your life after yeah, that. That so huge. You know, <laughs> I saw nice reviews online of your event from people that had the opportunity to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm excited. Everyone only had good things to say. I was surprised. And even my friends that were helping me organize were like, I knew it was going to be good, but it was so much better than I even imagined. And I was like, all right, I guess I need to keep doing this. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the people closest to us. I feel like they're going, oh, I'll help you out, but I don't know what this is. And then when they see it, they're like, whoa, girl, yes. you're amazing. <laughs> that's when you know it's for real, right? The skeptical ones. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with me. People, I mean, there were people close to me that were like, yeah, this women's group thing, maybe you should focus on something else. Just be careful. You don't want to put your time too far deep in this and think that you're going to be successful with it. I just don't want you to get your feelings hurt. I'm like, okay, thousands of people coming to my events later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're yeah. like, so where can I join? <laughs> yeah, I join? yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so those people that turned around are like they made me feel like I was doing really good I'm like oh okay you forgot that you were worried about me <laughs> yeah exactly that's when you know you're doing a good job yeah so you already kind of shared but um is there anything else you're looking forward to as far as being a new member of women of Denver what kind of things are you excited to get your feet wet in so one thing that I'm super excited about coming up, like specifically, is one of the events that has to do with the Enneagram, because that is a huge part of my coaching is getting to know yourself and getting to know other people. And of course, the Enneagram is a huge resource for that because personality types are a real thing. So that's super important. I'm super excited about that and other events as well. And just really connecting with other like-minded women and um maybe get, having the opportunity to interview them for my podcast, have them on my events as well, and have you in one of my events too. I'm just super excited. Awesome. Yeah, Whitney's amazing. She was part of our, um, our board uh, where we planned the events this year, mm -hmm. and it was just like, I'm just, I'm so excited about these women and how we came together to put, to just put our minds together and decide, you know, what do we need to support our, what, what do our members need to be supported this year? Yeah. And we all agreed that her Enneagram was a really great program because a lot of us have been through it. And it's just any, anytime you just get to have a little um, like scheduled time to dig into who you are and how you respond within the world, I think is valuable and something that we don't do enough to just reflect on, you know, how do we need to be within the world and how should the world be for us? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think that's what that does, at least in my perspective. Mm -hmm. So. I agree. Yeah. Thanks so much for taking time to chat with me and give us a little introduction. I love this opportunity to showcase to people who our amazing members are and, you know, showcase all the things that you're doing in the world. So how can people keep in touch with you? So um, I'm Marta Spurk across the board. I hang out on Instagram a lot and it's just Marta Spurk. Um, I also have my podcast, Mom Does It All. I'm actually going through a rebranding process and I'll be changing the name to the Empowered Woman Podcast. But if you look for Marta Spurk, you should be able to find my podcast as well. And of course, on Facebook, Marta Spurk as well. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, everybody. I hope to see you all very soon. <laughs> see you later. Bye.